And good evening, my lovely Lost Tales, and welcome back to the Blue Rose Respite for my Macabre Monday streams. Did you miss me? Admit it, you missed me. <laughs> I'm officially back from vacation, and we are returning. We're playing the brand new game from the world of Dead by Daylight. We are playing the casting of Frank Stone. I am so excited to see what's in store for us for this game. It is looking amazing. I'm a big fan of games like Until Dawn and The Quarry, so so this looks right up my alley so I'm very very excited for this um but my lovelies how are you I hope you're all behaving yourselves in my absence having a grand old time uh not too much fun without me though I hope <laughs> But we already have some amazing resubs, so thank you so, so much to Weaver of Passion for your 12-month resub. I can't believe it's been one year already since I've been graced by Stephanie's elegance and this awesome community. Fun fact, I had eye surgery a year ago this a year ago this month, and one of the first things I saw after the surgery was Steph's Baldur's Gate 3, th ah, Baldur's Gate 3 stream. It was very blurry, but Steph's natural beauty still shined through. Thank you. I know I've said this before, but I'm incredibly grateful being part of such an amazing community of fellow ASMR tale enjoyers. Steph and her community are amazing. Thank you so, so much, Weaver. Like, honestly, you guys just have the kindest, most wonderful messages whenever you do your resubs, and I really, really appreciate them. Thank you so much, Weaver. And King Deadlock, thank you so much for... You have come, you've come up for a full year as well with your primary sub. Hell yes! It's hard to believe it's been a full year now. Every day is brighter with you and this amazing community. I'm so grateful to be here. Thank you for everything. Love you, Stephanie, and chat. And we love you too, King Deadlock. Thank you so, so much for the resub. I really, really appreciate it. Both of you celebrating your one-year anniversary. <laughs> And Paciencias, thank you so much for the 10-month resub. Hi, glad to see you. Okay, and back. I hope your travel was good. My travel was great. Uh, coming back was a bit chaotic. Um, but honestly, I am I had an amazing time. And I am so lucky to have such amazing friends that I got to hang out with at San Japan. Got to do amazing stuff with. And yeah, I had a wonderful time. I always do. And we already have a hype train going. Oh, we're just starting out tonight. We already have a hype train going. Hell yes. Chris Van Flair, thank you so much for the subscription. Hell yes. Um, I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much, Chris. Uh, now is actually the perfect time to um, let you guys know, in case you weren't aware. Uh, it is currently sub uh, September over here on Twitch. Uh, so... It is 30% uh, off new subscriptions until the 1st of October. So just wanted to let you guys know in case you are not currently a subscriber, but you have considered subscribing. Now's the perfect time to do so. If you want to get access to my Discord server and enjoy some fun emotes in chat, now's the perfect time to do so. So thank you so much, my lovelies. And big thank you to everyone who resubbed just now. I really, really appreciate it. But how is it going? I am doing very well it's taken me a little longer to bounce back from jet lag than i initially expected um but today's my first day back at uh full steam ahead in terms of writing voice acting stuff working on things going to the gym streaming so i am i'm really glad i took the weekend off to just rest and recover from my flights and everything like that because that was very chaotic getting back um but i'm returned in one piece and i'm already very excited because as well as working on my normal um things like my asmr tale that's coming out this saturday um i also got the footage and the photos uh from the workshop that i did at target 3d uh the mocap workshop that i did um, so I've been working on uh, picking out some favorite photos that I want to share with you guys, as well as putting together some brand new demos. So, uh, I'll post it on my socials when I've done it, but I'm probably going to be updating my website with a whole new section to showcase some very cool photos of me in action in, in my cool, in my cool mocap suit and all that good stuff. <laughs> And shoutouts to the one years in chat. Hell yes, big shoutouts to everyone who's celebrating their one year anniversary. Awesome. It's been pretty good. I've had a lot, uh, had to work a lot over the past couple of weeks, both with my job and my anim and with animation related stuff. But other than that, I've been doing pretty good as usual. Hell yes. Why, thank you. I appreciate that. My lipstick came out especially nice tonight. And I'm very proud of that, not gonna lie. <laughs> Although I still seem to look a bit like a ghost. Can I adjust that? Yeah, that's a bit better. Ha. Ah. So, uh, I've already been hard at work on picking out some favorite pictures, and I, I tell you what, the because uh, Target 3D they posted a couple of pictures of uh, from the workshop. 
that uh, I was a part of and featured me in one of the photos they picked. I tell you what, I... I'm a little bit sensitive about, like, people taking photos of me and I'm not able to, like, check how they look before they go... they get po posted somewhere. But I'll tell you what, that picture that they took of me, of me, like, on, like, the arm extenders going, like, full full monster mode uh, in my mocap suit, that is probably one of, like, the coolest photos ever taken of me and I fucking love it. I want to frame it. <laughs> I'm just like, hey, mom and dad, this is what I do now. <laughs> I, I love that picture so much and honestly the workshop was just so much fun. I got to work with some amazing people, not just the amazing team over at uh, Target 3D and I'm super excited if I get the opportunity to work with them again. But also my fellow actors that I got to uh, play pretend with, they're all so amazing, so talented and uh, I, I can't wait for the opportunity to either get to hang out with them again as friends or to do awesome uh, work stuff together. Either way, they're all very cool people. Very, very awesome people. Now Steph has a picture show off what she does for a living. Absolutely. Absolutely. Like, I'm, I've just got that saved in my favorites on my phone to be like, Oh, you want to know what I, what I, I do for, for a job? Here's what I do. I get to pretend to be a monster and crawl around on the floor. <laughs> Sam, thank you so much for the gifted sub. I really appreciate it. Oh, you're so sweet. I really, really appreciate it, Sam. I saw earlier that you can't stick around for too long because you've got other stuff happening tonight, which is totally, totally fine. Um, so I really, really appreciate the gifted sub. Thank you so much, Sam. You're amazing. Oh, thank you. Don't worry about it. No, I appreciate everyone who, like, gift subs, who resubs, who subscribes and supports me in every way, big and small. So, thank you so much for the gifted sub. Um, but yes, uh, in, uh, speaking of photos and stuff, sorry, my brain's a little bit scrambled tonight. Um, I think I'm just trying to get back into the flow of, like, streaming and stream of conscious talking. Um, but speaking of photos, another thing that I'm very excited is when I get to see the photos of my Roxanne cosplay from San Japan because I tell you what my friend Momo who did my photo shoot she is so amazingly talented I love doing photo shoots with her uh, she also did the photo shoot of me as Scarlet Witch I think two years ago now and uh, the photo shoot of me and Dosik as uh, um, Claire and Leon in our Resident Evil 2 garb and that was so much fun Uh, are you aware of the character mocap in Mortal Kombat? No, sorry, I, I don't play fighting games like um, Street Fighter or Mortal Kombat, I'm sorry. Momo's so good. Oh, they're absolutely amazing and it was just so great getting to hang out with them at San Japan. Um, and uh, I'm so proud of how the Roxanne cosplay turned out because I was a, I was a little bit worried um, with it being my first attempt at like a bigger cosplay in terms of like investing more into the look like getting the hooves made and the sh um the horns and everything like that and trying body paint for the first time because I was so worried about like with it being so hot outside of it getting like sweated off or like smearing and stuff like that but it managed to last until I decided you know what I've had my fill I'm gonna take this off so I was very very pleased with how it came together and I, I can't wait to see the photos. I'm sure they're going to be amazing. Oh, and I, I can't wait to show them. I can't wait to show them. They re uh, she already gave me uh, a little sneak preview of uh, what uh, sh when we were doing the photo shoot itself. Just kind of like updates of like some of her favorite shots. Looking nice. They're going to be so nice. Alrighty, so are you guys ready for... Ooh, looked amazing, Steph. Probably one of the best cosplays I've seen for sure. Weaver, that is high praise indeed. That is incredibly high praise, so thank you so much for that. You are stunning. You brought, uh, you brought great mama to life. Oh, Sam, I really, really appreciate that. And honestly, I getting uh, Kristen's response as well... Because, like, the photo I posted of Roxanne and, in the cosplay um, was kind of a bit further back, and it was me standing in front of the banner for San Japan, so you couldn't see a lot of the detail, and I was planning on posting maybe one a bit closer later in the day, but the day just went by so quickly. 
But the fact that they got so pumped up and so excited and they just loved my cosplay so much, I... It made, it made my heart feel really full. It made, it made me feel really, really happy. Um, and uh, Akabara, they retweeted it as well, so... That also made me very happy as well. It, it's just... I, I cosplay characters that I personally really, really love or, or really care about. Um, and I don't intentionally, like, want or, like, seek out validation in that way. But I tell you what, oh man, does it feel good when the game developer shares your stuff. <laughs> you are a true eldritch forest goddess. You say that now. You haven't even seen the final pics yet. They're, they're gonna look amazing. <laughs> Oh, so cool that she saw it and loved it. It it felt so good, and I'm I'm so proud of how it came out. Um, and also, uh, my cosplay of uh, Brahms uh, Heelshire from The Boy. Again, a cosplay that is mostly just for me, because I've been wanting to cosplay Brahms for so long. And honestly, it's a really comfortable cosplay. The only thing is the mask is like. I need to like sandpaper or soften like some of the inside ridges because it sits really firmly right here so it kind of clockwork oranges my eyes just a little bit right on the on the uh the inner points of my eyes so I need to like put a little bit of padding or soften that down with some sandpaper no sorry um Brahms Hillshire is from the horror movie called The Boy. Not The Boys, plural, the superhero uh, satire dark comedy show. <laughs> Which is amazing, by the way. I'm like three quarters of the way through the later season um, because I hadn't watched it in some time and I've fallen a little bit behind. But I'm finally catching up, I promise. But I'm, I am considering cosplaying a character from The Boys. Maybe for next year. I, I need to see how I feel closer to the convention, but there's a character I have in mind. I'll just leave it at that for now. <laughs> Alrighty, so are we ready for the casting of Frank Stone? Because I tell you what, because I'm a fan of Dead by Daylight, I don't know all the ins and outs of the lore and all like the layers and all the different characters and stuff like that, but there's probably going to be a couple of points where I'm just like, guys, guys, I, I know, I know what that what what the reference is. Hell yes. Oh, Scarlet, welcome back. Thank you so much for the 54 month resub. Turns out I am here today. I messed up and my feetsies hurt Lamel. <laughs> oh, Scarlet, I'm so sorry that your feet hurt, but thank you so much for the resub. We love you. We we're just going to get settled in and start tonight's game. So, perfect timing, my dear. Alrighty, let us settle in. Let us settle in to play the casting of Frank Stone, because I am very excited for this. And let's jump over to the other screen. Everything is working as it should. Hell yes. Yay, there we go. Alrighty, so. Jonah Starley, thanks for the random gift itself, Sam. Much appreciated. Oh, like... Jonah, you're most welcome. Big thanks absolutely all go to uh, to Sam. And welcome to the Blue Rose Respite. If you prefer to lurk, that is 100% okay. If you want to engage in chat, that is also 100% okay. Feel free to just chill with us, vibe with us, have a great old time. We're just getting started tonight. Alrighty, everything is good to go. I am choosing to die alone. Okay, single player story. Because yeah, this is... I believe has a similar mechanic to the quarry where if you're playing in a room with your friends you can pass the controller between people so you can play different characters but it's just me and also because this is a game where it is like your choices will impact the story later on I'm just gonna go with my gut instinct I haven't looked up anything about what choices will lead to what I'm gonna be thorough in my investigations and looking everywhere for clues but I'm gonna go with my gut and just do my best uh, with this game. Let's settle in, shall we? You save. And let's just go on normal difficulty. I assume that's normal difficulty. You will not escape torment, but you may survive. Well, I'm choosing to be optimistic. And we reached the end of that hype train, uh, completed at level two. Thank you so, so much for the gifted subs and the resubs are really appreciated. Every choice made, every... Blah, blah, blah. Some will save lives. <laughs> Some will result in death. I 
I've sacrificed everything searching for it. A world within a story whispered to me centuries ago. Of a timeless power, infinite in knowledge, voracious in hunger. The entity. A realm so close to ours, but always out of reach. Until I found him. Frank Stone. My key. My killer. I am Augustine Lever. And I'm about to change our worlds forever. Spooky, spooky, spooky. Yes! Oh, it's a little quiet for you guys. One second. Okay, let me just adjust that accordingly. Sorry about that. Um... Okay, that's all on. Yes, I want to save that. Okay, so I've adjusted the volumes a little bit. Okay, let me know if... So I'll put just a bit, a bit more. And let me know if this is better for you. Okay, good, good, good. Thank you. Hi. Are you playing as a best boy or best girl? And you seem like a well-adjusted person. Totally up to no, no shenanigans. No shenanigans whatsoever. No terrible things are plotting. Captain Angelo, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Blue Rose Respite. Perfect timing, we were just getting settled in for the night. For missing infant continues. Chapter One The Burning Moor Cedar Steel Mill, nineteen sixty three. Sam, uh, seven past nine is steel mill entrance. I'm assuming you're the night watchman here. I am. Or just you? Covering the entire site? Oh no. I got help. Where are they now? On duty? Of a manor. Merlin just goes where he pleases. Merlin? A dog. Doberman Pincher. Best friend a fellow could ask for. Loyal to the seventh horn sounds. Trust him more than I trust myself. Okay, we're not doing the Twitch choice, because that is an option. Hang on. Uh, 
Oh, okay. One second. Can I switch that off? Because I switched it off. I switched it on for like anti copyright music. Hang on. Damn it. I might need to go back to the main menu to change that. No, we're we not doing this. It's another 28 stab wounds kind of game. No, no, no. So, you and the dog, Merlin. Okay. Merlin. It's saved at that. I'm just going to quickly jump to the menu and then we'll jump back in just a second because I just want to switch that off. Did this game take my job? No! <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Let us continue. Oops. So, you and the there dog, we go. Merlin. Merlin. You two are security for the whole mill? I know, I know, overkill. But between the two of us, we get the job done. Though, I don't know where he's got himself to tonight. Maybe I scared him off. Scared him off? <laughs> that, that is a good one. Thomas Jefferson Holtz is the name. Call me Tom. Officer Sam Green. You ain't one of Kusich's deputies, are you? My captain has loaned me to Sheriff Kusich as additional manpower for the duration of this investigation. Oh, you mean the business with the missing boy? Mm. That's right. <sighs> He's the only guy on watch. I want him on my side. I'm not gonna, like, Notice anything be mean suspicious to him. Around the mill? Tonight? Tonight, last few nights, anything at all? Oh, nothing. 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 Oh, heck, don't take my word for it. Ask the sheriff. Sheriff Kusich has been here. He saw by last night asking about the exact same thing. And I told him the same thing I'm telling you. There's no way that boy could be here and Merlin and me not know about it. And what did the sheriff say? Okay, Tom. Then he got back in his car and left. Huh. Hmm. So what you're telling me is nobody's actually checked the mail for any sign of the boy. When you say nobody, does that include Merlin? Yes, that includes no, the Tom, dog. It does not. I'm talking human investigators only. In that case, Sam, I find it hard to argue with your assessment. <sighs> any objections if I take a look around the place? No objections from me. Of course, everything's locked for the night. It's not a problem. There's Merlin, of course. Of course. If you see him, tell him I'm looking for him. Thank you for your help, Tom. Happy to oblige. Investigation time. Cedar Lakes, lure him in. That's not ominous at all. No worries at all, Sam. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. You take care. so much for the primary sub for 25 months now welcome home it is good to be home thank you so much mike looking for anything suspicious we are currently playing uh the casting of frank stone which i'm very excited about because i loved it by daylight Anything interesting here? Lord Azul, I am resting as best I can. I'm getting back to work as of today uh, on a couple of cool things. 
but I am also balancing my work and life as best I can. <gasps> Ooh. She promised to take away my pain, take away my nightmares. <sighs> Found a trinket. I'm not going to be able to probably find them all, but I'm going to do my best. Because I like being thorough. I, I do love collectibles and games. Hello everyone, we'll be in and out but wanted to at least swing by. Hell yes, you're always welcome here, Mike. I'm sure that dog will show up sooner or later. Hopefully still alive. It doesn't bode well when a dog is introduced in the first act of a horror movie or a horror game. I can get in through there. Oh, sweet. Anything around here? Nope. Huh. Huh. Easy does it. Anything mysterious and spooky around here? Hmm. Why do I have a feeling we're going to have to be like squeezing through narrow passages during like really intense moments as well? Hmm. I'm suspicious. Anything useful around here? The best safety measure is a mindful worker. Well, this place seems to be empty of workers. For now, at least. Unless there's some people lurking around here working overtime. Friday 13th. Well, that's ominous. Afternoon. Uh, Harold Norris, Dennis McCann, Bobby Rivers, Frank Stone, uh, Lou Osterman. The graveyard shift. No one should be here. Interesting. Move Dawkins and Stone off graveyard to pick up slack. No use running three crows with half the manpower. Some fellow's going to have to double up shifts. Told the Lumpkin out front no one's working nights for a while. Hmm. Hmm. Can I open that? No. Oh. Ooh. Huh? Mysterious thing. Employee's personal record. Date uh, employed. February 4th. Uh, surname, preferred name. Can't read that. Date of birth, 17th of April. Uh, was that 1927? Okay. Uh, the machinist, address Singer House, Cedar Hills. Criminal record, one charge, assault, robbery. Uh, sponsor, early release. Hmm. Sponsor slash main contact is Dr. A. Uh. Mill employee got his job thanks to an endorsement from a Dr. Lieber. Interesting. Okay, let's keep going. Can I open that? Apparently not. Let's just be thorough with looking everywhere. Hello? In case there's any Anyone secrets. Here? It's police. Mm. Come out now and I won't be angry. You better not be planning any jump scares anytime soon. Ah. What did I just say? Here, nope. Mm. Who's there? I 
I don't like that noise. Let's check upstairs real quick. Okay, that's all chained up. like death mm. anything here oh uh, that sounds like a dog having a grand old time uh. hey you yeah. mr. green officer Oh, yes, sir, of course. Uh, we haven't seen Merlin, have you? No. Yeah. Sorry. Ugh. You all right there? Ugh. Yeah, it's just... Jesus, you don't smell that? <sighs> Sniffer's out of commission. <laughs> Got a little too up close and personal with a can of mustard gas back in the trenches. Mm. Ugh. Sorry. It can be a blessing in disguise. Ugh. Gotta find out where it's coming from. What's it smell like? Nothing good. Mm. Yeah, that. I think I found your dog, Mister. Oh God. He's not friendly. Oh. Come here, boy. Dig name it. <sighs> sure to like it if you two made proper acquaintance. <sighs> God damn it. <clears throat> Mate, oh. <sighs> I would just just stick your hand in there. Come on. You put this out for him? No. It looks like someone else has found his way to your boy's heart. Through his stomach. It ain't possible. Merlin and me, we're a team. Who'd want to come between a man and his best friend? Yeah. What's that? Some kind of wiener mate? No, that is, um, that is definitely human. Mm-hmm. And yeah, it is the 60, 60s, so... Will you look at that? Crime investigation stuff wasn't quite that what it was dog. nowadays. And yeah. Think that belongs to the boy you're looking for? Yeah, that's a larger ear, not yeah. a child's ear. Came from someone much older. Teenager, maybe. Mm. Jesus, married a milkmaid. Hey, you know about any other folks going missing in Cedar Hills lately? Well, I don't know. Who would know a thing like that? Well, somebody does. Uh, how do you take, like, a human body and turn it from, like, normal to slush? To a slurpy. Ooh. Okay, so collectibles that we can find. I'll keep my eyes peeled. What was that sound? Stay behind me. Can't open that apparently. Keep looking around. Ask Mrs. Lovett probably how she makes her meat pies. You know what? That is accurate. That is very accurate. Volker 2002, welcome to the Blue Rose Respite. Thank you so much for the follow. And Zeno, thank you so much for the five month resub. I really appreciate it. 
I think you've resubbed for six full months now. Hell yes, thank you so much, Zeno. You're amazing. So, what is this thing? The great? Yeah, what is it for? <laughs> it's, uh, for the furnace, I think. You don't know for sure? Yeah, I work at the mill, not in the mill. Hmm. Let's have a little look around, shall we? useful around here. Oh. Gotcha. Nice. Okay. Some items can be kept in use later. Good. That might save my skin later. That's why it pays off to be thorough when investigating in these games. Hmm. I could go for a meat pie. Should I make a deer and stout pie? Oh, I haven't actually had venison pie before, but that sounds really good right now. Anything else around here? No, I think we're good. Stand back. Okay. I have to remember that for next time. Quick time events at the death of me in games like this. <laughs> You got in the sand, put your back into it. All right. Take this. Use the radio in my car and call the station. Where, where are you going? You, you really think that boy's down there? I don't know, but I got a feeling. And it's not a good feeling. Hey. I'm gonna need you to take this too. Make sure the sheriff gets this. I don't know. I never trust the sheriff in games like this. Oh, boy, I don't know. <sighs> Please. Please be helpful. Be nice. I need your help here, Tom. I wouldn't ask if I didn't. I just don't know if I'm made of the stuff, buddy. He seems Being nice, if a little bit adult. For nothing. You gotta rise to meet it. You can do this. I, yeah. I can do this. Yes. Please stay a good guy and don't be. Don't I'm turn and stab me in the back later. Fate change, you put your faith in Tom. We'll see how that pays out. run my eyes damn it okay so that goes directly to the furnace uh, so I want to explore a little bit look down some of these other alleys a little so I want to be thorough nothing here Ooh, ooh, secret thing. Hey! I know what it is to believe. Through the forest, the path is clear and the fire waits for me. Cute! Is that the only thing that's down here? 
And that Damn. looks... It's a maze down here. Yeah, that's blocked off. Anything useful down here? Nope. Okay, let's go back. Okay, yes, I think that's where I landed. Yes. Oh. Damn it. Not putting that gross thing on my head. Anything around here? Can't go through there, I think. Okay, let's head down. Yeah, I'm fully expecting to just see uh, the clown poke its head around the, sh uh, the corner of one of these alleys, just go, Hiya, Georgie! What a nice boat. Do you want it back? I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. I rewatched those uh, the other day. This has um, got to be it. Uh, it's chapter one and chapter two. And my God, do I love those movies. Oh, that looks like a teenager. Mm -mm. And I suspect that might be the body we found earlier. A body has been discovered. Symbol, someone is engaged in strange rituals in the hidden areas of the mill. Interesting. Because, yeah, there's some strange things that I've noticed marked under the lights. What is this, some Alan Wake shit? That is that is a rib cage. That is um a human rib cage. Uh, uh, this place turns my stomach. Mm-hmm. Is that an open pit? No, I think there is something there. Oh! Then just get weirder and weirder down here. Oh my God! It's the it's the hillbilly from Dead by Daylight. Mm. That is generally one of the creepiest things I've ever seen, and my God, is it cool? Okay, now I want to try and find all of these little suckers. Let me just see. Do we have a menu for collectibles? Yes. The hillbilly. Max Thompson Jr. is a sight not even his mother could love. A twisted man turned monster. In the silence that hangs over Coldwind Farm, one must keep their ear to the wind, alert to the rusty roar of grinding metal and motor. Because even if Max makes no attempt to hide his approach, his vengeance comes with the brutal swiftness. Okay. Now I want to find all the things. And artifacts. A worker's star file where the name is blotched out. How many workers at the mill have criminal records like this? A painted symbol resembling some sort of crude weapon. It This is a seriously morbid art project. Is there some sort of hidden meaning here? We shall see! Xeno, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Thank you, you're amazing as well, and I hope you'll be good. I am doing my best. I am making choices in this game from my heart and from my instincts, uh, but we will see. I'm trying to be good. I'm trying to be good. Or at least make somewhat smart choices. Captain Angelo, out of all the games you played, which one do you miss and love your videos and stream? 
Okay. I have a serious soft spot for Goddamn small two games. Um, mm -hmm. My first playthrough of Baldur's Gate 3 with Silesia, my tiefling ranger, because that was the first playthrough I did of the game. I got to experience the game for the first time, and I was very emotional. It was a very emotional uh, game for me. Secondly, probably uh, my first play at... Um, uh, Slay the Princess because again I was completely in the dark about that and so I was experiencing that for the first time and yeah I I love Baldur's Gate 3 so much it's my favourite game but that first playthrough with Silesia very much holds a special place in my heart so I love my girl so much and I loved the story that we told together and also uh, gave a massive boost to my Twitch channel, so it's how probably a lot of you guys found me. Hey, okay. I've played enough Dead by Daylight. I should be okay at that. <laughs> Chat was unhinged during Slay the Princess. Oh yes, you were. And I loved it. We had a great time with that game. Okay, that looks sealed off. Oh yeah, Blitz. This is very much a game inspired by Until Dawn, and I think The Quarry inspired this as well. Um, but it's in the universe of Dead by Daylight, and it's its first attempt at a original game set in that universe, so I'm very excited about it. <gasps> Baby? Okay, don't worry, small child. Do not be afraid, small child. I have come to save you. Uh, let's try the ramp. I don't want to risk the ladder. Just run quickly. Okay, we did it. Hey. I... Ah. Ah. Okay. We have many mechanics in this game. Come on. No. Oh, as a Jeff by Daylight player, I know that feeling. I know that pain. Ow. And that, that's my shooting hand. I, I need that hand. Come on, Sam. Come on. We have a child to save. Hmm. Come on. 
You got this, you got this, you got this. Oh shit. Oh shit, we got him guys. <laughs> okay. The child has been saved. I'm not sure how I'll be holding out with all that blood loss, but we should be good. Oh my god. Oh, that's rough, buddy. Sleep tight, motherfucker. Jawsome, absolutely. <laughs> Oh, what a way to go. Also, hi, Spirit Wolf. How's it going? Oh. I recognize that smoke. Is it the entity? Is it the entity up to some entity shenanigans? Yes! I can smell that smoky shit. Is a nice glass. I want that glass. <sighs> oh. Oh. Okay. So now we're Madison. I assume modern day. Okay, we'll go and look into this in a hot second. I want to be thorough. Anything else? Yeah, this glass is really cool. I Can I have this glass, please? Please? Is this where Roxanne shows up? I mean... <laughs> Scarlet, you're not wrong. Okay, I think that's it. Oh no. Also, are the characters we're playing as survivors from Dead by Daylight by any chance? I don't believe so. It wouldn't surprise me if maybe later in the game we get some cameos from some survivors. Like maybe, uh, like I could very much imagine Dwight, maybe Meg showing up as brief characters, but I don't think they're in the main cast. Right. Oh no. Yeah, this is kind of giving some Roxanne vibes a bit. Mm. That's still the same. That still looks the same to me. I don't like this. What the? Uh, Mom. Oh, so that was a candle, right? No, it's a light bulb. Or is it a candle? I can't tell anymore. Uh. Yep. Glass is still the same though. Throughout everything, that's always been the same. Huh. Hmm. Hmm.
Okay, no going back to the room for us then, I assume. Mmm. Mm. Oh, that... That red lighting. Oh, oh that sent my fight, fight or flight response into action. I, I know what that red light means. Oh, no. No, Mr. Ghostface, I want to be in the sequel. Okay, but uh, speaking of Ghostface, I'm just saying, because um, this game just came out, so there's probably going to be a few patches to work out any like performance bugs and stuff like that. But if this game does well, I'd kind of be down for if they got the license to do it. Okay, could you imagine a Scream game set in the style of like Until Dawn? Uh, the quarry and the casting of Frank Stone where it's multiple choice like you have to survive uh, Ghostface coming back that would just be so freaking cool no wait don't want to explore just yet I don't want to keep going just yet I should say I want to just keep looking around in case there's anything useful which I don't think there is okay now let's go That's some entity shit right there. fine, Madison. It's just jet lag. It'll be fine. This'll be fine. Intro? Ooh. Opening credits. Yes! Give us those Dead by Daylight vibes! Because, yeah, this music kind of reminds me of, like, the opening menu theme for Dead by Daylight. Do this, Maddie. Just stay on the right side. Madison, 856 Country Road. Okay, so she's in England, I believe? Dearest Madison, something something Augustine Manor. Is that a hitchhiker? Uh, stop. I, I want to see what's up. If it was a creepy guy in a coat, I wouldn't stop, but... You need a lift? Reynolds got a flat. Oh, you're American. Yeah. So am I. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so do you mind giving me a lift? Right, sure, of course. You can drop me off at Garrett Manor. It's just a few miles up the road. Huh, weird. That's actually where I'm going, too. So it's not out of your way. Uh, guess not. Yeah. 
Mmm, fate change. I chose to pick up the hitchhiker. Fine. I don't know if this is good for, or bad for me. So we're both going to the same place, huh? What are the odds of that? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I guess it's not all that odd, seeing as, you know, we're already pretty close, and I don't think this road goes anywhere else. So, did you say you were going to Garrett Manor for business, or...? I did not. Oh. So, um... Where are you from? From? Like, where do you live? Paris. That's where I'm from, currently. Before that, I was from Amsterdam, Dublin, Milan, Los Angeles... Nice. ...and Oregon, once upon a time. That's cool. Hey, my mom's from Oregon. Well, one of them is. I always heard it was really nice. Or kind of a shithole. But like a really nice kind of shithole. I mean, I wouldn't know anyway because I've never been. I'm a big Apple girl. Born and raised. Barely even made it north of 14th Street before going off to college. Here in England? Uh, no, Berlin, actually. Oh, I'm Maddie, by the way. Linda. It's nice to meet you, Maddie. Yeah, you too. Even if I was worried you might try to clonk me. Ah, uh, sorry. We're getting along well, I'll be curious. Okay, so what do you do for a living that takes you all over the place? I'm a filmmaker. I travel a lot for film shoots and festivals and all the other usual Hollywood bullshit. Oh, wow. I heard that's a real tough kind of job to get. Easy to get. Hard to keep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> had to bury a few bodies, huh? <laughs> well, I've had to work real hard to get where I am, but I'd be kidding myself if I didn't also acknowledge there isn't a certain amount of dumb luck to it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come on. You don't just dumb luck your way into a successful film career. You'd be surprised. I never would have guessed this is what I'd end up doing with my life. Oh, I, I relate. <laughs> mm, sure. Definitely seems like the kind of thing you just end up doing. Okay, good. Getting those relationships down early. Hey. Take a look. <gasps> oh, spooky mansion. Yes, 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 yes. I can't wait to explore every room. I think we've come to the end of the rainbow. Nice. Chapter 2 in the House of Darkness. Grant Garant Manor, sorry, 2024. This is kind of giving me the haunting of uh not haunting of Hill House, well a bit of haunting of Hill House, but um also, the haunting of Blind Manor because it's set in England. This place is definitely a little too, uh. on the nose. I was gonna say a little too much like a horror movie. It's perfect. Exactly. I love it. So, um, do we just knock or. I'm not sure. Oh, I doorbell. Maybe nobody's home. This is definitely when I was told to get here. Mm, me too. Hello? Anybody home? There a secret it's nook? It's a good rule of thumb to try every door. No, oh, you think? Well, they're expecting us, aren't they? Ooh, no way, the stretch it? check. <laughs> Did we just go in? Why are you asking me? Because you're a grown-up. <laughs> so are you, Maddie. <sighs> then, uh, here we go. Apparently. Oh, it, it's spooky. I love it. I love it. Why are all the light 
saw. Beats me. Are there others joining us? Hello? Let's take a look around. Um, hello? We've arrived. We are searching for Augustine Lieber. So let's first and foremost be curious and look everywhere. Okay, cool, cool, cool. My little box of collectibles. And yeah, I think this house, like the architecture of the house, is the same house that was uh, used for the haunting of Blind Manor. Like, I think Weaver said it in chat. Um, but yeah, absolutely. Like, the double staircase, the main entry, the architecture of the outside. It's the same house. I love this. Because that house is beautiful. Okay, before we go upstairs, let's explore downstairs. So, not this way then. This seems a bit more lively. Okay, no. That seems to go, like, through to story progression area. Let's look upstairs then. Or at least what I can see upstairs. this a survivor's theme okay pen and paper one second that's I know this will be in my notes but just in case yeah Also, the wallpaper where it looks like feathers, that's really pretty. Oh, really digging these creepy cottage core vibes. Okay, check that room in a second. I just want to look up the upper balcony a little more. in there. Let's check out this room then. Do do do. Oh, thank you for the hydrate check. Weaver, much appreciated. Mm. Do you play? Um, a little. Whoa. Yes! <sighs> Crazy, right? Uh, yeah. You've seen a real secret passage before? Uh, it's fairly common for old mansions like these to have concealed corridors. To allow the servants to come and go while being seen as little as possible. Mm. Bruno Stanf uh, Stanford III Esquire, business connoisseur. Behind all good ideas is a plan. Behind go all great ones is Stan. Looking forward to doing business with you. AL, looking yeah. forward to doing business. If you mean That's what today. you promise. Okay. I'm looking forward to doing business. If you mean what you promise. I'm sure this evening will be worth both our whiles. See you on the 13th. And please, call me Stan. P.S. Yes, got an, a good number for one of those British black cabs. My usual guys indisposed, so to speak. I think we might not be the only ones here. Business connoisseur? He's a snob about business? Yuck. Hmm. I'm not looking forward to meeting this guy. Ms. Lever, I'm writing to confirm that, as per your instruction, I have asked this the staff to- This is kind of freaking me out. It's weird, right? 
Arriving at an abandoned mansion with no one to greet you? Yeah, it's a little weird. Yeah, it's a little odd. Oh, God. This is when some guy with a chainsaw rushes up from the basement, isn't it? <laughs> Don't worry. We've been invited here for a reason. Mm. And I don't think it's so our hosts can wear our faces as leather masks. You say that now. <sighs> That's super comforting. Side-eyeing the lineup of amazing killers we have in Day by Daylight. I'm not writing that off just yet. Hey, Frosty King, how's it going? Uh, Ms. Lieber, I'm writing to confirm that, as per your instruction, I've asked the staff to take leave and vacate the grounds ahead of your visitors arriving. I recall hearing mention that your visitors are all collectors with a shared interest to yourself. If this is the case, would it not be preferable, even desirable, to keep one trusted staff member on hand to handle any precious items if required? I recommend myself for this duty. I do not consider it below my station, for I would relish the chance to glimpse and handle your precious items in the private reliquary, should it be needed. I'm only a short drive away if called upon, and you needn't concern yourself with discretion. In my three years of service as the state manager of Garant Manor, I have proved to be a model of reserve, probity, uh, probity and reliability. I wait your response with keen anticipation. Your devoted servant, J.F. Grimes. Hey, I think I figured out why there's no one here. What? Why? I think they must have forgot we were coming and went on a trip or something. Maybe. Anything else interesting around here? No, let's look secret passage. Uh, uh. Oh, did we arrive back on the ground floor? <gasps> no, wait. <gasps> the Huntress must have had a creepy doll on their Christmas list. The lullaby that haunts the dark forest. Yes, we got her. Oh, she's so creepy. I love that her hatchets are just like a little razor blade and a little like thumb grip. Yes. Oh, she's so cute and so creepy. Like the Huntress was one collectible I was really hoping that we'd find. So yeah, that makes me happy. Okay, perfect. And then we come out down here. And then this is the room we need to go into for story stuff. I do appreciate that, how it makes it clear, like, this room continues the story. And then it's like, okay, we'll keep looking around then. Because otherwise we might have missed that. Hello? Ah, ladies. Hello, hello, welcome. Hello. Didn't exactly get explicit directions as to what to do once I got here, so... <laughs> yeah, um, same. I am so sorry. Where are my manners? My name is Stan. Hi, Can I you found your card. Maddie. Maddie? Beautiful name. It, short for... Madeline. Madison, actually. Ah, huh. middle name Lexington? <laughs> what? Big town. The Big Apple? The, the city that never sleeps. Home to the most beautiful of women and fiendishly desperate of men. I don't like you. Madison Avenue. Okay, got it. A fitting name for such a lovely lady. Go away. Uh, yes, because we found that clue. Find information. Stan. That wouldn't be short for Stanford, would it? I see my reputation precedes me. Bruno Stanford the third. That's your beck and call. But only if you call me Stan. I look forward to seeing you die. Oh, Stan, this is Lynn Da Castle. I am such a huge fan of your work. I, I am I I'm at a loss for words. I am just humbled by your presence. Uh okay. Sure. Bruno Stanford the third. That's your beck and call. Only if you call me Stan. <laughs> sure. Truly an honor. <laughs> Truly. 
Wow, I didn't realize you were like famous, famous. Famous construct, and I'm not. Oh no, there I would beg to differ. Your modesty is only outweighed by your incredible body of work. Living and dying by the light of the moon, transcend it. Blood on the brain, mandatory. Forgotten flesh, I don't even know where to begin. All right, okay. Miss Castle, you are the quintessential countercultural cinematic icon of our times. I appreciate the kind words. I just didn't expect them here. Wow, so you're really the quintessential cult counter culture icon. Wait, didn't you two come here together? Oh, no, I mean, yeah, we drove in together, but only the last couple miles. I had some car trouble. I see. I'm sorry, I had thought that you were Miss Castle's assistant. <laughs> um. Nope. Just me. Wait, should I be flattered or insulted by that? Zeno, thank you so much for the 100 bits. I didn't mean. I'm just flattered you think I have an assistant. <laughs> I'm sure if you did, she would not be nearly as charming as, as Miss Avenue. Your last name is Avenue? Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> what? Did I miss something? Only that we are at a loss at what to do in the absence of our host. Wherever they may be. I guess we should keep looking around. I mean, why not at this point? Maybe our host has left something out for us. Yes, investigation mode. What do you do, Stan? Oh, I won't bore you with all the details, but it involves money and fast cars and trading. Uh, nothing illegal. I used to work with oh, guys like him. Mm. <laughs> Get the X so quickly from people like him. Okay, I see that handle, but before I touch anything... There might be secret passage Let's look. The Epic of Gilgamesh. Interesting. A bit of light bedtime reading. Uh, okay, Tablet 5, the slaying of uh, Humbaba. My friend Humbaba, guardian of the forest, grind up, kill, pulverize, and destroy him. Before the preeminent god Anil hears, and the gods are full of rage at us. Anil is Nippur, Shamash is in uh, Sippar, erect an eternal monument proclaiming how Gilgamesh killed uh, Humbaba. They tied together a raft, and Diku steered it, while Gilgamesh held the head of Humbaba. Annotation. Read carefully, Norman. Study the study, uh, study close what Indiku tells Gilgamesh. He saw beyond Humbaba's pleas for clemency, recognized sparing the demon would undo the hero's righteously won victory, that only a violent demonstration would stir the watching gods. There is no room for mercy in the pursuit of glory. The heavens will not open for a champion that shows restraint. Book attempting to illustrate to Norman how acts of violence could be heroic. Curious. And yet, we've seen a couple of chessboards around. Like, I understand if you've got a lot of rooms and like a lot of different lounges across the mansion, but how many. How many chessboards do you need? Oh, no, wait, that opens story related stuff. Does that door also open? No, it does not. Okay, let's look at the other one then. Did you find Wraith or Trapper? Not yet. We found the Hillbilly and we found Huntress. Huh. Movie poster inside a cabinet. Interesting choice. Dare you enter the murder mill. Murder mill. Hey, either of you heard of murder mill? Holy shinobi! You're kidding, right? No. Not the only one around here who's familiar with it. Oh! Wait. This is one of yours? It's one of the first things I ever worked on. Super low budget. We had no idea what we were doing. It should never have seen the light of day. I still wish it hadn't. Why? Well, things tend to get blown out of proportion. I heard it was only screened a few times, and each time the audience flew into a rabid, murderous rage. No, no, come on. Don't try and deny it. The film is legendary. I think people were just bored out of their minds. Look, I'm sure they made you sign all sorts of non-disclosure agreements, like... What? Who? The government. 
when they confiscated and destroyed every existing copy of the film? Oh, give me a break. I heard they kept at least one, just in case. And the CIA's got this secret lab called Leary's Memorial Institute where they use it for enhanced interrogation. How do you know all this? I'm a fan. And it pays to know this kind of stuff. Mmm. Uh, is that supposed to happen? I don't know, but I am digging the theatrics. <laughs> oh, do we have our host? Augustine! Oh no! With each other. I'm so very sorry for the delay in my arrival. There are a great many things that require my attention at the moment. And I oh no! I to deprive you of my full attention while we are together. <clears throat> ah yes, and speaking of needing attention... Uh, all dried up, are we? We can't have that. After all, you're far too capable of a negotiator when you're sober. And twice that when I'm not. <laughs> Madison. Would you also like a refreshment? Uh, it's just Maddie. Oh, my mistake, Maddie, it is. Oh, it's fine. Nonsense. Never be shy about what you call yourself. Your name is who you are. That's important to remember. And who are you? I call myself Augustine Lieber. We call you suspicious. Nice to meet you, Augustine Lieber. Now that we are properly introduced, I must again offer you a drink. Uh, she seems insistent. I'm going to say no. Uh, no, that's okay. Are you sure? It's very good. I can confirm. <laughs> yeah, flying and drinking doesn't agree with me. Thanks, though. Exactly. Jet lag. Don't drink. Oh, interesting that that changed. Oh, because I do not trust Augustine in the slightest. I don't want anything from her. I hope, despite that, you'll find it'll all be worth the effort. Guess that's up to you now, isn't it? I suppose it is. Well, I'll show you mine. Do show me yours. Aren't we a bit eager? <laughs> Manners, Mr. Stamford. Not all of us are caught up yet. Brass tacks, Augustine. I did not come all this way just for drinks. What's in there? Look, I don't know what you two have come to sell her, but I just happen to have one of the most sought-after pieces of rare cinematic ephemera to ever hit the market. Huh. Well, that right there is the only surviving segment of film from the original camera shot celluloid of one Murder Mill. The earliest known work of a certain noted Artur Allegedly. Should be worth a small fortune. So I'm told. Hate to burst your bubble. Damn it. There goes its one-of-a-kind value. Not quite. I... I, I never knew what it was from. Oh. You told me I had to bring this to you in person if I wanted to make it. I will keep the promises I made to you. Do we have, All like, you. almost the full film now? Or is... What if I don't want to sell? Well, that would be your choice. But after 40 years of pain, why would you choose to live with more? I have to apologize again, but there are urgent matters I must attend to in my private reliquary. You're welcome to continue to make yourselves at home until I return. I really think we need to finish discussing all in due course, Ms. Castle. Mm. And yeah, interesting observation, Dodge. She didn't offer a drink to Linda. She was insistent on Madison taking a drink, but she didn't offer any refreshments to Linda. I could feel the entity's force, its power pulsating through the steel mill. 
Until Sam Green's petty act of bravado ruined everything. The ritual disrupted. My key mangled. Yet Frank Stone didn't die that night. His essence was seared into the very foundations of the mill. An endless, agonized oh. nightmare. Oh. I had to find the right means to awaken him. never understand the score i love it you can, tie us up. you can torture us you can put us through every hellish trial your sick imaginations can come up with but you'll never defeat our spirit i want to back that camera up a little bit Defiant. Come on. You fail to see what truly makes us human. I'd rather die a thousand miserable deaths than betray someone I love. Come on, channel that pure 80s cheese. Is no. And there is nothing you can do to change my mind. All right, you alien scum. Do your worst. I can take it. Top tier that special effects. Amazing. Really? Hi, Jamie. Like too much? No way. Because I feel like maybe I oversold it a little. You gotta play to the cheap seats, I made. That's where the money is. Rad. How do we do, Linda? Was that a good one? <gasps> uh, let me check the gate. Young Linda. Oh my God. Oh. Check the gate on these little super eights. Um, no, actually, the lens doesn't come off, so... Somebody just wanted to show off all the fancy new crap they learned from the film production books in the library. I'm just trying to take the craft seriously. The craft! Jeez Louise! <laughs> so, are, are we good, or what? Yeah. I mean, it looked great. How did the blood gag look? Um, well... Linda, you did get... The blood gag, didn't you? I mean, it's really all about how Jaime sells it. I did really sell it. Yeah, but did you get any of it in frame? You kind of see it splash up in Jaime's face a little. Oh, it's Jaime. Okay. I told you I wanted a wide close up that shows off our super cool bloody arm gag and Jaime's face acting, not just an extreme shot of Jaime's face acting. I was in the moment. I have to be allowed to express my artistic instincts with the camera, too. And there's no such thing as a wide close-up. Yeah, I was about to or say. Extreme shot. Or face acting. It's just acting. Does anyone even care that I'm the director? 
Mm, I'm putting my faith in Linda. Of course. Chris, you're the director. But, like, part of the job is working with people you trust, and I trust Linda's judgment on the camera stuff, you know? Let's just shoot both versions, and then we can see which way works better in the edit. And it'll be my way. Because I'm the director. You are an asshole. I would not like working so with you. clean you off. And we'll get it on this one. If we don't, you can just make it up to me in my trailer after the shoot. Ugh. Oh, they're dating. Okay. Oh, it's like spearmint cough syrup. <laughs> yeah, all my gagging was kind of real. Mm, worth you it. guys want me to leave? All right, all right. On your feet, people. Everybody back to one. We're going again. We are going again. Okay. Sound speeds? Um, uh, camera speeds. All right. Everybody settle. And hold. And hold. And action. Oh, dude, that is not good. What do you think you're doing in here? Oh. oh. Hi, Mr. Green. Sheriff. Sheriff. Oh, shit. Right. Sorry. Hi, How Sam. How many times have I told you to stay away from this place? We were just in the middle of a take. A take? For our film production. You can't shoot a movie in here. But this is where the big climax happens. This is a condemned steel mill, Mr. Rivera. And you are trespassing. Now, unless you want to spend the night locked up in jail, I suggest you, Miss Castle, and Miss... Dixie. Miss Tammy D. Dixie. Miss Gordon. Miss Christine Gordon. I suggest you immediately vacate the premises. I can do real quick. Under any circumstances, sit one foot back here in the Cedar Still Mill. Ever. Okay. Don't piss off the sheriff. Oh man. Sir, we're, we're really sorry. We we didn't realize we were doing anything wrong. We'll clear out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hi, May. We've got a movie to finish. I know, but we have to do what the sheriff says. He's the sheriff. I don't care who he is. He and we're very happy to do whatever the sheriff asks. And uh, don't forget to clean up. We can always sneak back in. Uh, mm, I will say a bit frustrated about the busted camera because that's for the what '80s. That's an expensive camera. Camera. That's pretty we expensive. Get it Finish your movie anywhere else but here what the hell crawled up his ass no nah, he's not so bad usually we're not gonna do what he says right really we can figure out how to finish the movie when we get back to the garage Eighties vibes, yes. Now I will say I'm listening to the stream safe soundtrack, so it doesn't have any copyright music in it. So if you play this yourself, it probably has different uh, music during these kind of key moments. I will say it does fit really well as well. Now remember what I said, because I'm not going to warn you again. Yes, sir. Yes, still there.
pretty. Ah yes, America Suburbia. Three, a curiosity on Main Street, Cedar Hills, 1980 exactly. Okay, so I think we're just going to be jumping between three different timelines. I'm not sure if we're going to go back to the 60s. But I'm very curious how this all intersects. Chris, uh, four fifty nine J uh, Hyame's garage. Don't be so dramatic. It's not like we've got a real deadline. Ugh. Who needs a real deadline when every wasted second brings you closer and closer to your ultimate cosmic eternal deadline? Gothic? I like it. Hey, what are these? Oh, I got those for us all to wear when we shoot. Surprise. Wait, you guys are both acting. So it'll just be me? So you'll be like our ambassador. <laughs> yeah, not a chance. Hmm. Oh, whoa, whoa, don't open that up. I still haven't taken the film out yet. I thought it was broken. Well, yeah, the lens is cracked, but the footage is still good. Unless, you know, you open it. Ugh, whatever. We got some good stuff You're the director, today. but you don't know shit about Eyes cameras. Apple. Dude, just let me be upset. <sighs> Doesn't Sheriff Green have anything better to do with his time? Like, go after actual criminals and shit? Cedar Hill is not exactly a noted hotbed of criminal activity. That's not it entirely used to be. true. Yeah. There was that whole serial killer thing. Hold up, what now? When was this? Uh, I was just a baby. I don't really know anything about it. Oh, you're still just a baby. <laughs> and you still don't know anything. Now, be a good little baby and tell me all about this whole serial killer business. I know some stuff. Spill it, lady. For starters, I think that's why Sheriff Green doesn't want us to go in the steel mill. Oh well, yeah, that's where it all went down. So you do know stuff. <gasps> and you held back, you traitor. Yeah, because I knew you'd get all like this. Hell yeah, I would. Linda, tell me about the steel mill killer. Gossip time. Well, that's where it all ended. But before that, there was a whole string of disappearances. Kidnappings, really. Murders. <sighs> so what was this guy's name? Maybe we should write him into the movie. Oh, mm. I don't know if we... Frank Stone. Huh. So, Frank Stone was actually killing people in the steel mill? Like, our steel mill? Where we were just shooting like an hour ago? Oh. Frank was working at the mill, but I think it was on its last legs by then. Probably not a lot of people around. They shut it down right after. Hmm. What do you think he was up to? What do you think he was up to? There has to be a reason for him to kill a bunch of people, right? There was never any kind of confession, so they don't really know for sure. Someone somewhere's gotta have some idea. Well, we could always just ask Frank Stone. Huh? Mm. Crystal ball, Ouija board, what will they say? And Miss BB's hotline, the dead are just a seance away. Okay, okay. I called Miss BB once. I tried to speak Don't to contact Shelley, the dead. No. Maybe thought that was my grandmother, so she kept going on and on about eating enough cabbage soup. <laughs> Did you get a recipe? Oh, damn. Then again, maybe it's better not to dig up old bones. If it's ancient history, people don't really like to talk about it. You do get reporters asking around sometimes. It really rubs people the wrong way. Once Sam Green became sheriff, that all died down anyway. Hmm. Mm, what were the reporters asking about? What exactly were the reporters asking about? I don't know. They're reporters. They just want to dig up dirt. They had to have been on to something if they kept coming back. Mm-hmm. Well, just forget about it. Everybody around here has. Except Sheriff Green. Fine. If you guys aren't interested in filling me in, I'll find someone else who is. Okay. Good luck. I guess it doesn't really matter what happened at the mill since we can't finish shooting there with a busted camera. Hey, why don't we just take the camera to the drugstore and see if we can get it fixed? So, yeah, the thing is, I 
kind of spent the rest of the budget on the t-shirt. Come on, Chris. Unless you know of anybody looking to get into film finance, we're kind of shit out of luck. Hi. Uh, um. You want a piece of me too? Hi, Bonnie. Who are you? Sister, perhaps? Hey, you okay? What's up? Nothing, it's fine. Mm, didn't sound fine. As soon as mom got sick, I dropped everything in my whole life in New York to come home and help. And all he does is act like I'm not doing enough. It's like he doesn't even care what I had to give up. I'm sure he's just worried about mom. Yeah, so am I. That's why I'm here. The least he could do is try not to ground me like I'm 16. Totally. What is he thinking, right? Sorry, I guess I just needed to blow off some steam. I get it. The Wait. last thing mom needs is for us to be screaming at each other. Is she That's one true. of Madison's moms? Yeah, and you've been doing an incredible job. I mean it. I, I don't know what we'd do without you. Uh-oh. What? What? Linda, where's the Jaime bell? <laughs> ring, ring. What's the Jaime bell? My darling brother has the tendency to uh, lay it on a little thick whenever he's about to ask for a favor. Mm -hmm. I'm just speaking from the heart. Mm -hmm. Okay. What do you need from me? Um. Well, we're making this movie, and we're so close to finishing, but we just need a little extra bit of money. Of course mm -hmm. you do. What else is new? What Jaime's trying to say is our camera got busted today, and we need a few bucks to get it fixed. Ouch. How much do you need? Excuse me. Uh, casual? Just like 10 bucks? So, let's say hypothetically, I help you out. What do I get out of this? You gonna make me a producer or something? Sure. Of course. Mm. Associate producer, Bonnie Rivera. Associate producer is a bullshit favor credit. Linda! <laughs> okay, yeah, I don't really give a shit about having a credit on your movie. So, maybe if you actually have something real to offer? Like? You could borrow my van. Uh, Gotta give a little to get a little, how may? Alright, fine. You can borrow my van all week. <laughs> what? Dude, I wouldn't be caught dead in that thing. Oh, come on. It's not that bad. That's cool. Everybody wants to drive a van. Yeah, it's the Try 80s, again. man. If I may offer a suggestion, Jaime, why don't you take over some of Bonnie's chores? Uh... Hmm, enticing. Oh, man. All of my chores, no complaints. <sighs> yes, ma'am. Then I think we got a deal. Nice. Wise decision. Don't try and weasel out of it either. Pleasure doing business with you. Pleasure's all mine. Hey. And yeah, it's the 80s, so 10 bucks will fix your camera. Wiggly. I'm fine, it's just. Uh, what is in that fake blood? I think it's just mint flavored real blood. <laughs> oh, it did say to avoid any prolonged skin contact. You washed it all off, like, right away, right? Uh, you don't think it's, like, actually poisonous, do you? It's a horror movie, Jaime. Anyone could go... Yeah, any time! <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully there's enough time to fix the camera before they close tonight. I'm not sure the drugstore clerk will even know how to fix it. Hey, think positive. It's not like there's anywhere else in town we could take it. What? What about there? I thought oh. the place was condemned. Guess they got a new tenant. Curiosity the store. Yes. Hair cameras? They there might. There's a place like that near my grandfather's house. The owner used to tinker with all sorts of old junk. You never know. I bet they have some rad old junk too. Lots of haunted shit. Your call, Chris. Curiosity shop. I want to go. Let's go. I don't care if it's haunted to shit. I certainly am curious regarding said shop. Eh? 
Yes, I get it. Lead the way. Chose the curiosity store first. I don't care. I want to see it. I want to see what's creepy and kooky inside. Man, if I didn't know any better, I'd say this place looks like it's been here forever. And a half. Maybe you should write it in. Don't tempt me. What if the owner is a deranged serial killer who collects wayward teenagers and turns them into antiques? Then we hit the jackpot. Check out the wares. Ooh, cameras. Uh, these look like they've seen better days. They're still very cool, though. They're not going to put the best ones in the window. We gotta look inside. Ah, uh, too bad. So much for that. We can still out the drugstore before it closes. And what is it you're looking for? Hello. Hello. We saw the cameras. We're trying to find a replacement for this. Well, of course you are. Please. Come on inside. See, it's not closed. Just a lovely creepy lady running the store. Now, let me see. I think I have something that may interest you if I can find it out back. Please make yourselves at home. Okay. And be sure to have a look around. You never know what treasures you might find. You're Augustine, aren't you? Make ourselves at home? I recognize the eyes Here? and the hair. I don't know. I think it's kind of cozy. In a failed capitalist state kind of way. <laughs> I think she's Augustine. Let's see. Could it have been Exploration there? time. Also, her voice is quite distinct as well. Where did I put all the... Oh, okay, whoever owned this place before had some lousy luck. Okay, dear Mr. Olsen, this letter will serve to confirm the agreement regarding the sale of Ned's Nutty Ned Nednacks. All relevant legal paperwork has been signed and you should receive payment by month's end. My client also wants to extend their sympathies to your recent hardships. If there's any lesson to be drawn from this... Uh... It's that fire, theft, and casualty are not things that only happen to other people. Hopefully moving on from Cedar Hills will give you some distance for the, from the bereavement. After, uh, after all, time is a great healer, and perhaps one day you'll find yourself able to adopt another cat. Respectfully, R. Straker. Okay, I'll talk to Linda in a second. I want to look around. Also, one thing that has struck me a lot with um, the characters in this game is that they all look like regular people. Let's they say hypothetically she does find a camera for us back there. What's the next move? We got everything we need to finish this sucker. Well, except the mill. Sheriff Green's gonna have his eyes glued to Ugh. the front gates. No way we can get back in again. That is some um, creepy ass glitching <laughs> with the mocap. Ah, hang on. <sighs> There's gotta be another way into the mill. Ah, that's creepy. We have to. Yeah, there has been some slight reports of um, some slight hiccups with the graphics. So, because this game really came out a few days ago, so we might have some uh, small um, issues. But until then, there we go. Glad you could de-exercise, uh, exorcist yourself. Brady. Surely there's something that can help us amongst all this junk. So yeah, I am aware that it's also like kind of uh, the frame rate's a little bit jumpy, so I'm going to try and fix that for the next stream, but hopefully by next week we'll have a, a solid patch out to kind of heal over any rough edges. Oh my god, she's the unknown. <laughs> No way. Yes, I already feel like I probably missed a couple of little trinkets, but we will see. <gasps> I recognize that mask. That is Mama's mask. Oh, cute bunny. She's the cutest. Ooh, you can hear her lullaby. I love it. 
Also, I can fully see, like, cosplayers just as soon as that prop is being held up and you can look at it, they're immediately, like, taking a million screenshots of just, like, yes, now we can make lore-accurate masks. I don't know what that is, but it looks painful. That's the wraiths thing. Ah! Buy that for your movie. That's a cool shit, cool shit prop. Mostly, also, I wanted to pick the Curio shop because I knew that it would be full of little Easter eggs for Dead by Daylight. He... I think that's Trickster's thing? Or the Legion? Who would want to watch this creep fest? Okay, I see something over there. La 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 la. Yeah, the TV, I think, might be just a reference to uh, Madison's story, but it could also be a reference to Sadako. <gasps> the Trapper! Imagine cuddling up to that at night. He, I love him. Look at him, he's so creepy. One more time. <laughs> okay, was there anything behind the counter? So I want to try and see what how far I can explore. Okay, that didn't come up as something to interact with, so let's try the other door. Uh, because there's so many things loading at once, it's a little iffy on the frame rate, which is kind of surprising because my PC is pretty good. Like, it plays Baldur's Gate 3 with no problems, so I'm just talking this up to new release game is just a little graphic intensive. Okay, we saw the good burb. Okay, so not that way, must be then the other way. Linda, do you have something for us? Oh no, wait, it was Linda. Uh, Linda Castle. She comes running out straight at us with a giant chainsaw, and you're like so bummed out. You're in luck. A very fine item indeed. Yes. Whoa. But may I? I insist. Oh, that's gonna be haunted to shit. And it's only ten bucks, which is exactly what we have. It was meant to be. It's pretty old. Possible we could make it work, but it's not exactly what we had in mind. Mm hmm. Uh, how much are you asking for it? Oh, there's a tiny little price tag on it, but I seem to have forgotten my reading glasses. Why don't you take a look? Ten bucks. I'll say be appreciative, like, because I've given Chris some s flack, but I wanted to be nice at okay. times. Sure. I think that seems reasonable for something like this. Thank you very much. Thanks for finding us a camera. Because, oh, yeah, no there's more to her than I than meets the eye, so I don't want to screw her over. People so passionate about the arts. Yeah. Yep. It that's us. 
Spooky shit. I don't trust you! But yeah. I was saying earlier that I love how all the characters look like ordinary people and the mocap is so good. Oh, do you want me to hold this? Be right back. Yeah, the mocap in this game is so so good. Emergency sock quarter. Emergency sock quarter? Because yeah, all the little mannerisms are really, really good in this game. And the body language just works. It works so well. First movies? Really? Must be a slow news day. Best Left Buried, the dark mythology of the lost movie by Joe Blue. There are those films which have been lost over time, which in their absence have developed an aura of mystery. Those lost movies have fascinated film historians and conspiracy theorists alike, not because they wish to marvel at the performances of the actors or craft of the director, but because they believe uh, through whatever remnants of footage they can cobble together, they may glimpse into a darker reality realized only by the camera. Most associated with the production have distanced themselves from the rumors around Dean's disappearance, the most persistence of which is that of in the surviving footage of any scene involving Dean, one never fails to observe a strange rolling fog in the desert background. Perhaps there really was something lurking in the desert, waiting for its moment to come forth and claim the film stars for its own twisted machinations. That sounds like the entity. Oh. Yeah! Waterlog shoe. Four names, four trials. She tells me not to rush. Another missing kid. No. I hope they're found. Benny Baker Does it, doesn't say how old they are. If you identify this missing youth, please call Cedar Hills Sheriff's Department Missing Persons. <gasps> Can I play you? Okay, guys, this is just turned into a Space Invader stream. Sorry, guys, this is the stream from now on for the next hour or so. <laughs> ah, I was never good at Space Invaders, I should probably tell you that. Ah! <laughs> ah, I'm trying to get these guys. Come on. Oh, come on. Almost there. Come on. Yeah, come on. Okay, I want to at least kind of clear this level. I don't care my friends are waiting outside for me. I'm playing Space Invaders, damn it. Almost there. Yes. Oh, come on. Almost there. Let me just clear these guys. Come on. And then we'll get back to like the main actual spooky game. Come on. Come on. Yes. Okay. There's two more. Almost there. Oh. Okay. Still got two lives. Just need to get these last two. And then I promise we'll get back to the game. Oh, last guy, come on. Ooh, sneaky. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. 
I won't get caught up in the next level. I cleared it once. I'll count it as a victory. Okay, anything else that I can look around? Don't think so. Got the magazine. Hang on. Fall into the fear trap. Horror's hottest sensation. Cage lips. It's behind you! Hang on. That post-it note. Okay. These look like license plate numbers. So... Row 1, BG, 7, 9. Okay, those burgers look really good. Demolition scheduled this year. Whoa. Lightbringer Estates. Gonna be the last record of the mill. Lightbringer Estates. Cedar Hills renewal enters new phase. Uh, new phase. Move fast to secure your place today. Lightbringer Estates has announced the next stage in the transformation of Cedar Hills, with new homes planned on the land around the site of the former Cedar Steel Mill. Exploratory. Exploratory visits to the old Cedar Mill site by Lightbringer's expert teams of engineers and architects have already commenced. Ahead of demolition scheduled for later this year and construction beginning in early 81. Interesting. Okay, thanks for the stretch check. Ah! Oop. Almost knocked over my water bottle. Okay, let's get the milk and then let's go. Chris. Robert! Well, wait, I thought you worked at the library. How would you know? Don't think I ever saw you come in. I got spies everywhere, man. <laughs> so, Linda. Busted. <laughs> <laughs> you can always come in yourself, you know. Books don't bite. Uh, Linda's the bookworm. I'm more of a movie worm. Mm, I don't think that's a real kind of worm. Neither's a bookworm. <laughs> <laughs> ah, so we're about to close in like two minutes, so. Oh, right, yeah. Ring me up. All right, that'll be 25 cents. <gasps> Fuck you, do you remember when milk was 25 cents, guys? I don't yeah, think any of us, sure many of us were alive for that, like but. In the library. Fuck! Actually, you don't see any coin. <laughs> it's volunteer hours. Not so bad if you like to read, I guess. Mm, true. We've got a rad horror section, too. Didn't know you were a horror guy. Just books? Movies, comics, too. Whatever I can get my hands on. You know, Jaime and Linda and I are all making a horror movie. Down at the old Cedar Steel Mill. No kidding. We could always use an extra hand if you're into that kind of thing. Mm. <sighs> Super into it but does my dad know you're going into the mill oh shit he watches that place like a hawk uh yeah we had a little run-in with him today but we're gonna sneak back in to shoot the rest shut up chris man guess he's coming in i would love to be involved involved in what mm -hmm. hey, dad yeah uh chris was just telling me about a um a... We're putting together a fundraiser. To show movies at the library. Okay. Good cover. You need a ride home? Oh, yeah. Uh, let me just get my bag. I'm sorry I was a little harsh with you and your friends before. I just wanted to make sure you're taking me seriously. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, either one of these is going to be tricky. I will say mentioning Frank Stone is probably going to be worse than say we're going to finish the movie, so I'll be somewhat defiant. We're still gonna finish our movie. We got a new camera. An old, new, one that works. Hey, that's great. Shoot a hundred movies if you want. Just don't shoot him in the mail. 
ready? Take care. Well, Sam's a good guy, Chris. Don't be stupid. I know you're a bunch of dumb kids. I can get you back into the mill without him knowing. Oh, really? Just say the word. Yes. Let's make a movie. Yes. <laughs> oh, this is gonna go so badly. I have worn many masks over the centuries. Dr. Augustine Lieber was renowned, professional and trusted. Frank Stone confided in me, mm. allowed me to unlock his potential during those dark days in the psychiatric ward. And now, a new guise. Knew it. A new timeline. A new chance. Giving them the camera, I admit, was unfair, even for me. They couldn't know what power they held in their hands, nor what cruelty awaits them in the steel mill. Mm -hmm. But what true creator wouldn't suffer for their art? God dang it! I knew it! Chapter 4, These Walls Have Eyes. Hmm. You tend to do that a lot, Madison. You doing okay? Okay, be nice. Are you okay? Uh, yeah. I guess I just dozed off a bit. Wait, what happened to Augustine again? She left. L left? She said she had to do something very urgently in her private reliquary. Hey, now that we're all awake again, can we forget about Augustine for a minute and talk about the a thousand foot long elephant in the room? Thousand, oh. Thousand feet is the average length of film in a movie? Oh. Guess we were all playing it close to the best before, huh? It's not my film. I, I didn't. I just worked on it. Didn't direct it. It's not even on my official filmography. I meant how we were all holding back about our film strips. Oh, right. Whether you take credit for it or not, it's definitely the most infamous project that's uh, associated with you. Chris film collectors have been unsuccessfully searching for any trace of it for years. And now we are all here, each with our own little slice of a mysterious pie. It's a pretty big deal. So all of our film strips, they're part of this movie you and your friends made, Linda? If they're not fakes, yeah. Mine's not fake. And all that stuff you said about it being cursed? Murderous rages, CIA interrogation, total disassociation with reality. Mm. Because it's so rare. Only a few people know for sure. Well, so they say. If Augustine wants the only known surviving pieces of it, <laughs> she's gonna have to pay up. Why do you think she wants it so bad? I mean, it's not really cursed, right? Oh, I, it's super cursed. I prefer not to dwell on the past. We're here, someone's offering to buy our sections of the film. Yes, I'm Linda is the cinematographer. Right we saw her Providence in the previous uh, installment, in the previous safe. chapter. So do motives. I don't know about you, but I would very much like to know why Augustine is so desperate to get her hands on this film. Well, first rule of business is to gather every bit of intel you can on your opponent. And I don't know about you two ladies, but I have been itching to get a little look-see around this big old house of curiosities. <laughs> Are we allowed to look around? Well, we did find a secret passage what earlier. Want to keep sitting around or want to peek behind the curtain? <laughs> hmm. Well, what are you waiting for? Have a little look around. What are you waiting for?
<laughs> now this is a real bold statement kind of room. You know what I mean? <laughs> New Orleans oh, got cash, so cool. not like this kind of cash. It's so cool. Sounds like you didn't scout your mark as well as you thought. In business, we don't call them marks. Hustling is a racket, not a business. I wouldn't underestimate my scouting skills if I were you. But rattling around up here, that could be mutually beneficial. Tell me what you know about Augustine. Okay. Then tell me everything you know about Augustine. Augustine Lieber, a lead collector of obscure cultural artifacts. She pretends to be all business, but plays a long game with the cards close to the vest. Take care, Rosen. Thank you so much for down. joining us. And? Ever since I arrived, I've kept my eye on things. Observations, behavior, decor. I've been building a profile. Which is? Lieber is no ordinary collector. She likes dark stuff. The really dark stuff. Hmm. She'll stop Continue. Very impressive. Okay. Now it's your turn. My turn for what? I told you what I know, and now you go. I think you pretty much covered it. Hey, uh, just catching up. So, what have you guys found? Not much. But the night's young. Not as young as you think. Let's keep looking around. Okay, so I'm thinking, um, because even now I'm still Can't noticing deny this place would make an incredible film location. That then to finish for a second. Um, so just because uh, I'm picking up on some uh, some little bugs along the way. I might wrap things up for tonight before we get swept up in exploring the mansion. Um, just because then it will give us another week. Hopefully we'll have a, a first patch come through for like fixing some of the little glitches that we've encountered along the way. And then we can kind of really like sink our teeth into the meat of this story because we've got the general setup. We've got all three timelines now and now we're starting to like jump between all of them. So I think it's probably a good point to kind of wrap things up here because I'm still also like easing back into routine and easing back into streaming a little bit. Um, so yes, I think uh, now's a good t time to wrap things up before we get too swept up because I am already really enjoying this. Like my curiosity is peaked. I'm already curious, for example, say if you don't, if you're not quick enough in the first chapter, does someone else become sheriff? And then like is like Sam completely out of the picture then if he doesn't survive against Frank Stone if Frank Stone like kills the kid for example how does that affect things if that affects things so I'm very curious to see where this story leads and I imagine a lot of you are quite curious as well to see what different branches uh branching paths there are and what potential uh endings there are so I'm very curious to see how this story goes I'm already trying to make instinctual choices just from my heart to just go go with my gut try and like make my characters good people but also be smart people at the same time so let's wrap things up for tonight and don't forget uh wednesday we'll be continuing tavern talk and on friday we'll also be continuing Baldur's gate 3 and rosamond's story i think we were actually getting close to going after casador and doing astarian's big quest so uh i cannot wait to see what lies ahead for both tavern talk and uh more Baldur's gate 3 but until then been lurking in the shadows and you like what you've seen so far then please consider following we would love to have you back at the blue rose respite you are welcome anytime be sure to check out my other socials that are popping up in the chat right now including my two youtube channels one for my asmr tales and the other for my twitch vods and my twitter my insta and my tiktok i have a 24 7 ongoing broadcast over on my main youtube channel which is a, a collection of asmr tales as well as some creepypasta narrations so if you like my voice you find it soothing and relaxing and you want something to kind of listen to in the back Background, then be sure to check that out and give it some love and a big thank you to Xenophobe for the 100 bits good night sweet dreams and rest up I absolutely will thank you so much Xeno I really really appreciate it and be sure to keep an eye out on my socials if you're not already following my socials you absolutely should because I will be posting uh, hopefully tomorrow 
some snippets of me uh, doing the mocap workshop and I tell you what some of those photos look amazing and I'm so so happy with them so I cannot wait to see what you guys think of those and don't forget to join me on Wednesday for Tavern Talk and Friday for Baldur's Gate 3 and we've thank you so much for the 25 bits sorry that you have to cut the stream a little short today but hopefully the patch comes out soon and hope you have an amazing night Steph thank you so so much we really really appreciate it um yeah, it's one of those things where, like, I could keep pushing for, like, another half hour or so. Um, but also, I'm a little bit sleepy today. Today's been kind of uh, a really, really full, really, really busy day. Um, so I'm just trying to, like, go with my gut when it comes to streaming. If I'm finding my stamina is, like, dipping quite low, then I'm going to wrap things up early before I get a little bit too fatigued. Um, but yes, thank you so much, Weaver and Zeno, for the bits. I really, really appreciate it. So I hope you all have a wonderful evening. Let us see who's currently live and we can go say hi because there is someone streaming at the moment come on come on stream deck hey Zoran the bear is playing the brand new warhammer game that just came out that i need to check out at some point so i'm going to send you guys over to Zoran. So thank you so much for joining me tonight, my lovelies. I will see you on Wednesday for uh, Tavern Talk and Friday for Baldur's Gate 3. But until then, remember, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and as always, stay wicked and wonderful. Good night, my lovelies. <laughs>